Hi, I'm Jessica. I want to do a really quick tutorial on how to use a Norwegian knitting thimble as a yarn guide for your attention for crochet. I'm going to assume that you already know how to crochet. I'm not going to really go over any of the actual crochet techniques. I'm just going to go over how to use the thimble to help with the yarn guide and the yarn tension, but you still need to be have um, control of your index finger and your thumb um, for a pincer grip to be able to hold on to the project itself. And I'll be knit, um, crocheting with my right hand, um, but this might help somebody out there that has a disability, sort of like mine, where I can't do the tension and hold the work with my left hand. So, you start off, and um, the thimble should fit on your pinky. It may not go all the way down your pinky. It does on my pinky. But I have found it works best on the pinky because that's cl closest to what is normally done um, when you're guiding your yarn in crochet. So you're going to take your working yarn, you're going to thread it through the back loop, up through the back loop and then down through the front, um, front loop taking care to make sure you don't tangle it on the sharp points and then you're going to hold your yarn here and make your slip knot and again there are plenty of tutorials on how to make a slip knot I'm not going to go over how to make a slip knot. I'm even going to make a mistake making a slip knot. I apologize. Okay. So now you're going to put your slip knot onto your hook. And then tighten, and then you begin your, begin your chain. And I hold the tail yarn with the left hand, and I crochet with my right. And if you are using an origin thimble and you find that your tension is too loose, you can create some friction by running it against your leg or um, against the couch or some other surface to create a tighter tension. As you can see, the tension. Can you zoom in? Mm -hmm. As you can see, that I am getting the tension tighter by creating more friction. too tight, I guess. And you can make it looser by creating less tension, by pulling some of the slack. I wanted to sp explain one other thing. Um, the Norwegian thimble is really neat because of the way it's an open spiral on both sides. If you wanted to switch projects, you don't have to keep the thimble on the project that you're working on. You simply um, work it through on both sides. And then you can take the thimble off to use on a different project. Um, this allows you to use the same thimble for multiple projects. It also allows you to get the um, yarn back in if you were to accidentally get it off in the middle of a project. Shoot. Takes a little bit of um, getting it to get it the direction you want but 
you get the basic idea. So, thank you.